Well, I completely disagree with Jay Billis and Shannon Sharp and Stephen A. Smith uh, about court storming. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and let you guys hear the commentary from Jay Billis about his opinion about court storming. And then I'll be back. So I chopped it up from you guys can hear the beginning and then you'll hear the very end. And then I'll be back with my commentary. All right, take a listen to this. It's just the idea that fans don't belong on the court ever and players don't belong in the stands. It's a pretty simple proposition. But, you know, the NCAA and the member institutions will say the player safety is number one. There's nothing more important than player well-being. But uh, that's simply not true because they're continuing to allow this. And in fact, they're encouraging it. And the truth is we're encouraging it in the media. We put court stormings at the end of every highlight when there's an upset. We're, all you have to do is once they're on the court, don't let them off. Just, just say you're all detained and give them all citations or arrest them if you want to. And then court stormings will stop the next day. Um, there's no accountability for this. It, 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 the fans feel like it's an entitlement and the universities like it. And the truth is we like it. Now, one last thing on this. Years ago, when, when fans would run out on the field or on the court during a game, it was, it was network policy not to show that because we didn't want to encourage it. So what does that say about the way we in the media use these images now? We, we can't deny that we encourage it, or at least tacitly approve of it. And uh, everybody has to accept some responsibility for this. It, I don't think it's the right thing to allow this, but I know that it's going to continue. This is not going to stop. Well, what's up, Full Ride Nation? Back for another one. For all y'all that don't know me, Christopher from D1 Walk On Turn Starter here to help you guys with basketball hopes and dreams. Uh, here to talk about what you guys just heard from Jay Billis and um, talking about court storming and how he thinks that people should basically be arrested for storming the court because uh, one player got hurt. Well, here's the thing, man. Um, and coming from a person who actually played college basketball. Now, I've never been a part of a court storming per se. I mean, I've had seen people run out on the court, but it wasn't necessarily a court storming to the degree that, you know, you, that you see on TV now. And I, I just find it disingenuous when these commentators, especially the ones that have been a part of this game, and may have played in college and have been a part of court storming to turn around and now point the finger as if that's a bad thing. Um, it's unfortunate the guy got hurt, but, you know, like a lot of people are saying, he could have embellished that. But the basketball game itself, you have a, uh, you're more inclined to get hurt from people dogpiling you on your own team or playing in a game than you are from court storming. See, court storming, I think it's a good thing because unlike professional sports, college sports is different because the players that are on that team go to that school. So the student body gets a chance to see these people on a day in and day out basis. So they're within arm's reach, unlike professional athletes who, you you know, they're not in arm's reach of the general public. And so generally when you have a school that has a good crowd and those are generally the schools that you're going to see on television because that's the optics that they want so that you can see the atmosphere that's that goes towards recruiting that goes towards getting your student enrollment up when people see that on television that's how people say hey i want to be a part of that institution because of their extracurricular and their sports that has a lot to do with the school's enrollment and things of that nature so Schools are going to use that as a recruitment and for enrollment. So I don't understand why they say, well, people get hurt. Well, people get hurt playing basketball all the time. So if some if a kid gets hurt in a tournament, do we not have an NCAA tournament? And the court storm and no one is out there maliciously trying to hurt anybody. Um, we've never seen that where someone goes out there and attacks the other team. They're out there celebrating with their team, with their classmates that actually play on the team and I don't see a problem with it. And I just, I, I just, the problem that I do see is that all of these old older people who are no longer in touch with what's actually going on in reality, making these silly comments. And then they want to act as though it's 
the law. And for him to say, detain them and give them a ticket or send them to jail, people are walking out of Walmart and Target and you can't put them in jail. So put them in jail for storming a court and celebrating the W. That's just preposterous and it's insane. So full ride nation, that's my take on it. Y'all know the drill. Let's come be.